I hate to be the one to tell you this, but the fact that he got happier might mean that he just got a new affair partner. See, men who are cheating are having this whole other life that you don't know about. They're having these ups and downs in other relationships. The fact that he's irritable one day or happy one day, and you're trying to figure out what that has to do with you, friend, it has nothing to do with you. He had a tiff with his girlfriend, or he had a particularly great date with his girlfriend. It has nothing to do with you. So you're over here trying to figure out what you did or didn't do that's making him happy or not happy or whatever in your relationship. His behavior is having nothing to do with you. And maybe the fact that he's more irritable with you some days or happy with you some days is completely irrelevant because he's not really even reacting to you unless he's comparing you to her. See, when a man is having an affair, nothing else in his life exists for him but that affair. I've said this before. From the point in time a man and his affair partner decide to meet alone for the first time, his kids don't exist, his mortgage doesn't exist, his family doesn't exist, his job doesn't exist, nothing else exists for that man but his plan to be with this new bright and shiny thing that is the thing that he thinks is going to fill the hole inside of him that is miserable. There is nothing that you can do that is going to stop him from feeling this way. Like him being able to resolve this inside of himself is a total inside job. The only thing you can do is preserve yourself and get yourself out of the situation. The crazy thing about it is, the crazy thing is, is as a spouse or as, you know, the person's partner, you have such shame, even though you're not the person that is doing anything wrong and you don't want anybody to know. But the fact of the matter is, is that everybody already knows. The only thing you really can do at that point is like just gather up your dignity and just exit the situation because they are going to keep thrashing around and trying to heal whatever this is that hurts inside of them with partner after partner after partner after partner. And it wouldn't matter if they were with the most like perfect person in the world, they are still going to be with other people. That is just, that is who they are as a person right now. And until that space in them gets healed, that is the choice they're going to continue to make. And it, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It is not lacking in you. It isn't a shortcoming in you. It has to do with them and how they are choosing to resolve conflict and how they are choosing to fill that that hole in themselves. Because let's say if your relationship just isn't the right relationship for them, um, you know, a securely attached person, a person who is whole and healed would just come to you and say, you know, let's go to therapy. Let's try to figure this out. And if you can't figure it out, then, then they would say, this just isn't working out for me. And they would, they would settle that with you up front before moving on to another relationship. That's how that would be handled. So there's, there's nothing that you did or could do that would ever cause you to deserve to be somebody who gets stepped out on. Now, I hope that that's helpful because I get a lot of messages from people who believe that there's, their partner might be cheating on them or knows that their partner has cheated on them and might be cheating again. And I just, I just wanted to tell you that there's nothing that you've done that warrants that. This is a person who is trying to resolve their own wounds, and this is how they're choosing to do it. Period.